Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to upgrade your VMware ESXi host from 6.5 to 6.7 by using VMware Update Manager. So um, with the uh, our current infrastructure which we have, we have a VMware vSphere uh, 6.7 which is um, in build with uh, Update Manager. So we are you going to use the Update Manager to um, uh, to do the uh, upgrades for our ESXi upgrades in infrastructure. So the most important thing when you going to upgrade your ESXi host is required a firmware and driver as per your um, current hardware like if you have a blade or if you have a um, rack server the vendor like like HP others vendor um, uh, uh, always release a custom image for uh, VMware ESXi host which is going to um, have an inbuilt uh, like vendor add-ons uh, you can say firmware drivers and any other security or critical patches related to ESXi host or ESXi host versions so make sure you go ahead and check the uh, vendor specific ESXi host ISO file which which you can download from the vendor website and I always recommend to go ahead and uh, do use the custom image um, uh, because it's it's inbuilt with the driver firmware other things which I have mentioned earlier so let's go ahead and see what we are going to do in this video so this is a VMware ESXi upgrade matrix you can say I have just uh, checked it from uh, VMware you can go ahead and check this matrix on VMware for the latest uh, for the latest matrix what they have released so you can see here our host like VMware vSphere uh, hypervisor ESX is going to support these all versions to like 6.7 or 6.77 u1 u2 u3 and others so our current infrastructure as I discussed we having um, 6.5 so for the 6.5 all the versions from here you can see 6.5 all the version does support uh, upgrade to C, uh, 6.7 u3 so we are good from the matrix and if I go and see what we have so we, we are going to have a, uh, a VMware ESXi host 6.5 so I'm going to show you that so I must recommend you to go ahead and check the this VMware ESXi upgrade matrix even even whenever you do any upgrade related to VMware products you can go ahead and check the upgrade matrix and you make sure you are passing the upgrade matrix so this is our demo infra which we have um, set up to uh, upgrade the ESXi host from 6.5 to 6.7 so you can see the my first machine is in uh, Win 10 console which is basically a console machine for me where I am going to log in my infrastructure ESXi host and VCSA to work uh, and the the second machine is Win 2K uh, 12DC01 this is my domain controller basically and I have one iSCSI host to provide this SCSI learns to my uh, my ESXi servers and then I have one INVCSA01 which is my VCSA running 6.7 this is Linux appliance so uh, this is basically a um, VMware appliance and we have two ESXi hosts prod ESXi01 and prod ESXi02 both are running ESXi 6.5 so let's go and these are the network setting which we have configured and deployed on this infrastructure so let's go and see the infrastructure so if I go here my first machine is active directory and DNS which is running my domain controller basically so you can save into K12 DC01 this is my domain controller second machine I have a here which is my iSCSI server when to get all the iSCSI so if I go to storage iSCSI you can see I have four LUNs here uh, four for the data store and one for the ISO all are connected and connected with the ESXi prod target so this is my ESXi host and I have um, this is these two are my ESXi host you can see VMware ESXi 6.5 running and this is also VMware 6.5 running so this is my uh, I have deployed this infrastructure in VMware workstation that's why you are getting here the um, VMware INC VMware 7.1 because it's uh, taking the uh, virtual machine appliance uh, model so this these are two 
PS Xavier, and this is my Win 10 CL01, which is my console machine from where I am going to initiate all the upgrades and going to work. So I am going to log in on my Prod ESXi One just to show you what we got here so you can see this is my uh, Prod ASXi01 which is running on 6.5 and managed by vCenter server 203 and this is my ESXi02 so you can see here this is my ESXi02 and running 6.5 and finally I'm going to log into my VCSA which is 6.7 so launch the vSphere web client HTML so I'm going to type my credential here So now you can see I have few virtual machines running on my this two host if I go here on my prod cluster you can see I am running two uh, windows 12 virtual machines and one VCS 6.7 which is my basically up, uh, vCenter appliance. So this is my infrastructure and now the first thing which we need to go so go to VCS uh, server or go to click on menu and go to update manager so as I said update manager is inbuilt with the vCenter uh, uh, VCSA 6.7 so if you go to update manager you can see home monitor baseline up updates ESXi image and settings so we are going to upgrade the ESXi host so we need to add the ESXi image so I'm going to click on import so I have already downloaded ESXi 6.7 setup so I'm just going to browse it So I have multiple 6.7 ESXi host OS image so I'm going to select the update 3 and click open and then you can see this is going to upgrade your importing VMware v, um, uh, vVisor installer 6.7 update 3 so it's going to few seconds to get the um, update the upload the image in uh, v VCS and then we are going to create a baseline uh, f uh, by using this um, ISO file and we will create the baseline and we will attach to the ESXi host or a cluster we can attach so adding to repository so now you can see it successfully upgraded up uh, added here and product you can see VMware is 6.7.0 U3 and this is going to all other details so now as I discussed we need to go here and create a uh, create new baseline so these two baselines uh, is already going to you know, have here which contains the critical host patches and non critical host patches so I'm just going to create a new baseline and I'm going to call it ESXi 6.7 upgrade and this is going to um, upgrade so click next and select the image so we have 6.7 image here I'm going to click next and just click on finish so it's going to up, uh, add this ESXi image in this baseline name so click finish and now you can see we got the baseline and now we need to go to host and cluster and from host and cluster I'm going to click on my cluster name which is prod cluster and from the updates I'm going to add this attach this baseline which we have just created here so attach baseline I'm going to select ESXi 6.7 upgrade I'm going to attach it so now if you go on any of these ESXi host on an update section you will see the 
the uh, this is uh, added and we are go go ahead uh, we can go ahead and do the remediate so uh, what this going to do if i click on remediate you and click okay then what you can see this is going to um remediate this host and it's going to install the upgrades and then going to uh, schedule option will run uh, a remediation automatically and uh, these are the remediation settings like uh, vm power or uh, power uh, power state do not change vm power state so retry three attempt every five minute vm migration do not migrate power off uh, or suspended vms to other host and disconnect so all these uh, these are the settings so before i go ahead and uh, remediate this machine i recommend you to go ahead and put this esxi host in maintenance which you want to go ahead and upgrade so i'm going to put uh, move all power off and suspended virtual machine to another host So now uh, auto automatically it's going to migrate all the machines and if you have a larger machine in your infrastructure then definitely you can plan uh, to migrate all the machines and then you can go ahead and put the host in maintenance mode. So same I'm going to do here just to show you how we can uh, move the virtual machines from one ESXi host to another and then we can put in our maintenance mode. So can see here my two machines are relocating na right now so one is completed and s2 is running now so once this is completed uh, enter to maintenance mode is going to be complete also so you can see now my esxi 0 or uh, 0 1 is now in maintenance mode you can see from here so status maintenance mode and I'm going on updates now and just click on this option 6.7 baseline and click on remediate so I'm going to accept and click OK and just click on remediate so it's going to install the this upgrade on ESXi host and then going to reboot the host so you can see remediate entries 13% 15% is completed now you you will soon see this ESXi host is going to reboot so if if you have a physical machine then you need to make sure you have a, a con access to the console in case anything goes wrong you can you can go ahead and uh, check check the machine on console uh, what is uh, what is running it might be might be a machine got stuck on some uh, some manual intervention required like uh, to press F1 or F2 something like this so you always uh, make sure you have access to um, console when you do this type of maintenance or these type of upgrades for the physical machines so you can see now it's going uh, stuck on 47% uh, so it must be going to reboot the ESXi host soon Now you can see the ESXi host is got rebooted and now it's initializing the hypervisor and now you can see VMware ESXi 6.7 kernel is loading so this is good we got the ESXi host upgraded and it's it's going to uh, come again online and then this remediation is going to do some post check uh, after upgrade and it's going to verify and once everything goes well it's going to give you the um, go ahead for the uh, you can see the this uh, status is going to be compliant so this is good you can see 6.7 uh, 6 is coming online also you can see here for now this status is going to be disconnected so since this is not going to come online the status is going to remain disconnected so now you can see it's um, up now vCenter ESXi 6.7 is up on our uh, prod ESXi 01 so if I go here you can see the it's coming on now on maintenance mode and remediation entry is going to be completed around 92% so it's going to soon completed yeah now you can see it's completed and if I go here 
you can see the status of this machine is now compliant so if I check the overall status you can see for this host baseline 6.7 is com uh, compliant for ESXi 01 and it's ESXi 02 it's not so you can see ESXi version also and if I go to summary you can see the ESXi version of this machine so you can see we uh, we spare agent host is disabled so by default when you enable it it's going to exit from maintenance mode it's going to enable automatically so you just need to reset it to green and you go ahead and now if you go here and check it's 6.7 so everything looks good now and now we can go ahead and migrate machines back to the uh, ESXi host prod 01 prod 01 and then we can initiate the maintenance and upgrade on uh, prod 02 so I'm just going to migrate these machines so uh, VCS is long uh, big machine if you say about the compute resource so I'm going to migrate it first and my going to migrate trust machines also So soon my all the machines virtual machines are going to come on prod ESXi01 so I'm just waiting to get these migration done and then uh, machines uh, prod02 to go in maintenance mode. So now you can see all three machines is migrated to my prod ESXi01 so I'm good to go ahead and my this uh, prod02 is in uh, maintenance mode so I'm good to go ahead and run the remediation on this machine I'm just going to click on remediate and click OK so now I'm going to click on remediate so it's going to install the upgrade to for the 6.7 and then it's going to take the reboot for host so I'm going to pause the recording here and once the host has come back with the 6.7 we are going to review the post upgrade things so you can see remediation is completed and the cluster high has been also configured so if I go here now you can see the status is now compliant and I can go ahead and remove this machine from maintenance and reset it to green HA error warning so now if I go on update manager and see the baselines uh, basically we can go from home and we can check two ESXi host here with attached to this baseline so this is good and now we finally go ahead and uh, detach this um, we can go ahead and detach this uh, baseline from this machine because we can see both the host is now compliant so two host of two host uh, two of two hosts are compliant so we can go ahead and just detach this baseline from the cluster and now we are good and we can see both the ESXi host is upgraded so if I go here on summary 6.7 and ESXi Prod 02 is also 6.7 so this is all about um, upgrading the ESXi host by using update manager from 6.5 to 6.7 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye